Question 20. Is. It is said that we are created in the image of God, what does this mean? In a sense this is a true statement. However, it is not the flesh and blood of our physical body that is referred to, it is the spirit. The spirit could be described as a reflection of the image of God because, all that is, is spirit, from and encompassed by and within the power we call God. The statement that we are created in the image does rather mislead us to imagine God in human form, perhaps, as portrayed in some paintings, with the appearance of an old wise man. This rather limits our appreciation. It can also make some people conceited enough to consider themselves above the rest of creation. The power we call God can be described as love, and wise, omnipresent, omnipotent and omniscient. Although the perfect consciousness we call God is not singularly male nor female, but a perfectly balanced living energy, a universal or multi-universal pure consciousness beyond mind. We can equally say that all life is created in the image of God. This naturally includes flowers and trees, insects, birds and bees, and every animal and organism in nature, everything. The power we call God is the supreme motivating energy, the life force, behind and within all life. Nothing can or does exist without the spirit, the energy, of God being an aspect. This wonderful eternal force is within and a part of each and every one of us and can never be extinguished. We are effectively a miniature version of God and have the possibilities within us to grow and reach God-like heights, to be as, and in a vibrational sense, closer, or at one, with God. This seems to be our ultimate aim and the journey although an eternal one is a great and inspirational climb. However, life will even then remain eternal, so who can say what may ultimately follow? As we progress and climb our spiritual ladders towards greater degrees of enlightenment we can help each other. Gradually we will all become finer, wiser and purer reflections of the power, or God.